Should the Habs rely on Caden Primo and or Charlie Lindgren as the backup goaltender for next season, or should GM Mark Bergevin start looking for another veteran backup? Well, if you go by this season, yeah, you would have to go and get another backup, but there's still a lot of time left in this season. So, you know, if you're going to rest price here and there, um, just choose one of them. Don't, you know, don't go Lindgren and then go Primo. Just pick one and let them get that experience of either just sitting on the bench and listening to, you know, everything, practicing with the NHL coaches, being right beside Carey Price. Um, and then maybe when they get to uh, training camp next year. Look, I think Primo is moved up a little bit on the, uh, the chart, and I think he's now ahead of Lindgren. And Kincaid, to me, is gone. Like, I, I, I don't even think you're going to see him in a, in a Canadian He, he might not even finish the season on Laval. Still alive, right? just he is alive. He is alive. Well, I think he's oh, on a milk carton right now. <laughs> okay. uh, or his, his game is, anyway. Okay. So, yes, do they need a backup goalie? I've been saying it all season long. That is their Achilles heel this year. Well, I, go ahead. Sorry, I, I think you got to give one of those kids the opportunity to play. I mean, when they mathematically are out of the playoff race, you give one of those kids that you think is going to do the job for them a chance to play, and you let them play and play and let them let in bad goals, let them develop, but uh, give them the opportunity. Don't uh, put them in, put them out. Uh, and it's, it's a tough enough position uh, to play, they need to make sure they handle the, the, these type of kids the right way. And I, I really believe that uh, the only way to get better, again, play them, uh, let them, you know, uh, make or break their career, so to speak, and see what they can do. And uh, till the end of the year, then you can uh, do the math to see if it makes sense to, uh, you know, to, to bring them back in on a backup basis, or you go and find another uh, in the in the league as to to serve the purpose of the backup goalie with Primo I'm not sure if he's at the stage of his development yet where they want him sitting on the bench 60 odd games a year watching Carey Price I think they'd probably want him maybe back in Laval for another season but Charlie Lindgren you know the game in New Jersey is an example you want your backup goalie to give you a chance to win Lindgren let in a horrible goal to start the game but Charlie Lindgren's a battler and he battled and he fought in that game and his teammates see that and he battles and he fights in practice. He works hard He's, and that's part of being a backup goalie is also being good in practice, making sure that you know, you're playing, giving these guys a challenge or the, when they're shooting on you during the practice. So I don't think Charlie Lindgren will be a, ever be a number one goalie in the NHL, but I think he's proven that he can be a backup. He's mentally strong. He's a really bright kid when you talk to him. He's a really, really smart kid. And he, I think he maybe himself is realizing that. And being a backup goalie isn't easy. You've got to be mentally strong because you're only playing once or twice a month. And you've got to be able to forget the bad goals or the bad games. And I think he's able to do that. And I think he showed that in New Jersey with that first goal would have rattled a lot of guys, but he just battled. And in the shootout, he, he was really good. I think his teammates really like him. And I think he has proven to me that he can be a backup in the NHL. Okay. Go to hockeyinsideout.com now and check out this week's full episodes.